Hello Sage Hen Raiders, this is Natalie Campbell from the Office of Alumni and Parent Engagement and I am here today to help you navigate the Goodreads platform which we are currently hosting the Pomona College Book Club on. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to sign up, log in, and use the discussion boards as well as some key features that we have including uh, notifications where you can get updated on discussions that are happening and current multimedia that we've posted on the website. So I'm going to go ahead and start off. There are two landing pages that you could potentially land on. This first landing page is the actual Pomona College Book Club page, which if you are going from any of the emails that we've sent out at this point, this is the page that you'll probably land on. You can go up here to the right side and use join if you have not created an account or sign in. But for search purposes, I'll go ahead and show you the general page. So the first time that you're going to come on here, you're, you know, you can use your web browser and search Goodreads. Um, you'll land on this page. And if you haven't created an account, you can use your name, your email, and a password that you want to use here to sign up. You also have the option of social sign on. So if you have a Facebook page or a Twitter page, feel free to use that to sign on. So I already have an account created and I'm gonna go ahead and just log in. And when we go here, you're gonna to come to your general page. On this general page, you'll be able to update your profile, which I'll show you in just a little bit, as well as update notifications. But first, we're gonna go ahead and sign in to, or join the group. So you're gonna go here to community and groups um, and you'll get the search bar here, which you just wanna look up Pomona College and it'll populate the Pomona College Book Club. Go ahead and click here on the book club and then you'll opt in to join the group. Um, you won't be able to actually, you can see the discussions and all of that, but you won't be able to actually uh, join in and, and create posts until you join the group. So you'll click group and here you'll be given a couple of options on notifications these can be changed later if you realize that you know you want to be notified more often or uh, that you're getting too many emails <laughs> so I would recommend the digest the digest is great because it will be sent either daily or weekly based on how often people are commenting and posting um, and that just gives you an overview we do know that this platform is not a platform that you probably will be on daily so the digest is nice because it just lets you know when there is activity and you can jump in and um, chirp in on what you think so we'll go ahead and select digest and join group and now you've joined the group at this point um, you're free to view some of the content that we've already put up, whether it's a discussion or videos. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do an overview. There's two ways that you kind of interact with the page. I'll do the, the general um, landing page and then we'll go into some kind of quick links that you can use as well. So here we have the overview of the group as well as our upcoming reads. Um, we will change these out uh, every semester as well as in the summer and then down here you have a quick quick view of what we're currently reading what we're going to be reading um, and then down lower you'll be able to see all of the books that are are kind of picked to date um, or have been already read so down a little bit further we've got this discussion board and the discussion board is great uh, you can go back into old discussions we are going to keep them all open, so please, if um, you know you aren't able to read the book now, but you get into it later, we'd love for you to still make sure that you get in there and and communicate about your thoughts and and um, you know how you felt about the books. But so right now we have the the citizen discussion open. We'll s soon be opening up the unwinding, which is our October read. But in here we have a welcome message from the professor. We were very excited that she was here on campus and we were able to get a, a direct welcome message for all of you. Um, and then some discussion posts that we put up. We did um, just notice that there was a, a news article in the LA Times and the New York Times, so we went ahead and posted those up there. And you'll see that we have this red highlight here of what's new. Basically what that is, is once you've read those discussion posts that will um, disappear, but for now it's really handy because you'll get to see how many posts have been up since you've gone in and read the last time, so it makes it really, really easy so you're not rereading a lot of stuff. 
Um, again, you're welcome to come in here on some of our previous books. We did do Motherless Book Brooklyn as a group, as well as Just Mercy. Um, and for both of these, we had video content that we we're able to uh, record here on campus uh, with Brian Stevenson and Jonathan Letham. So please um, get in there and take a look at what we were able to get. Um, you've got videos here. You can come down to more videos and that will open the screen to all the videos we've posted before. And then we also have events. So at this time, we don't have any events in here, but there will be a couple populated coming up soon. We are looking to have some intimate book discussions in different regional cities. Um, we have a couple of hosts currently in the San Diego area, the Bay Area of California, and um, New York. If you're interested in being a host, please do not hesitate to reach out to our team and we can let you know kind of what the expectations are and um, in what ways the college can support you in getting a book discussion off the ground in your local area. If you have friends, um, say other alumni, your parents or other students or faculty members that you're friends with on Goodreads, that would populate, populate right here. As well as down here, you can see all of our members. Um, and, you know, some have filled out their profiles and some have not. So um, that is something that it is really nice when you're able to get in there and, you know, potentially put up a photo if you would like, as well as um, fill out some information with your profile so other alums know um, who is who. A little bit further down, we have the upcoming reads. So we have the unwinding next month, and that will go the duration of October. We've got the Founding Brothers, which is our November read, and we chose to go with the December read, actually spanning it over December and January because we know everybody is extremely busy typically during the December month. So um, that will be over the course of two months. Um, so that's what we have selected right now. I would expect to have the next announcement for our spring reads um, in probably mid to late January. Um, and then again, we'll do recommendations for the summer um, of 2017 rather than having group discussions. Um, down here is our general bookshelf and you'll get to see all of the books that we have either recommended or that we have read together as a group. So that is the entire page um, if you decide to go with this view. But as I had said, there's some quick links that make it a little bit easier to navigate the page. So over here on the right hand side, we've got group home, which you can always come back to this home page. We've got bookshelf, discussions, and a variety of other ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and go one by one by those. Um, this is the way that I choose to navigate the page just because I feel um, it's a little bit easier as well um, as there's some extra options that you'll receive through these quick links versus um, just taking a scan over the whole page. So when we opt into bookshelf here, you'll automatically populate all of the books that we recommended um, similar to that main page but you do have the option um, we are narrowing these down into to smaller categories so here our featured book list would be just the books that we have read together um, our Pomona alumni authored books this could be something that's featured or recommended but it is written by an alumni author currently I don't have this populated but you should see books begin to uh, show up here shortly and then Pomona faculty authored books is another great one so in this case, Motherless Brooklyn was one of the books that we featured and we read together back in May, but it's also authored by one of our faculty members. So we went ahead and um, added that book into this uh, book list. And then up here, you'll also see the book um, by Susan McWilliams, The Best Kind of College, um, was not something that we read as a group, but it was a summer recommendation. So we've got that populated in here. I'm gonna go back to that main page and we'll jump into discussions. Discussions, again, we highly encourage folks to get in here um, as we kind of build up our activity. Um, I think everybody will gain more and more out of the virtual reads. We do look forward to having in-person reads, but there's so many of you that we know are not in those regional areas and um, hope that this discussion will allow you to participate as well. So as you'll see, um, it could be a variety of welcome messages. It could be discussion questions, um, news. So this MacArthur grant, we were excited to hear that um, 
Professor Rankin uh, just received the MacArthur Fellowship, and so um, we wanted to share that information out to everybody. And then down here again, we had our summer recommendations, uh, new book announcement. There's a variety of things. We do try to folder these so they make it a little bit easier. You can collapse these down um, so that way you're not staring at as much information. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit group home over here and go back to that main page again. Uh, another area I'd like to show challenges we're currently not using as well as polls, but I will jump into events. Although there's nothing here now, if you are in one of our regional areas that we will be holding in-person events, I highly encourage you to check this area out on a regular basis to see if we're going to be bringing um, an in-person event to your area. Um, these will be small uh, events likely at people's homes, coffee shops, or other things like that. And um, you'll RSVP through here and we'll try to keep as much communication through the Goodreads group. Um, so those will show up shortly. Photos. Currently we only have one photo, but there may be others that populate in here if you want to see later. Videos are definitely an area I encourage. Um, so for those of you that are currently using the Goodreads mobile app, you will lose out on this feature. So I highly encourage you to get in here and take a look from a web browser. Um, that way you are able to see the video content. Um, the mobile app, although it's it's convenient, uh, we do miss quite a few features on that. Uh, it's very basic with uh, really just the discussion feature. So uh, if you get a chance, get in here and uh, take a look at the videos we've posted. On here you'll see some of these are just things that we've pulled and wanted to highlight from YouTube. Other things like the masterclass was something that was actually recorded here at Pomona when Brian Stevenson was on campus to do a talk with the campus. So there will be an additional one coming up here soon. Um, we have been able to record a few, few other things and the Jonathan Latham video is one of those that isn't populated here. We did currently have it up on a Facebook page, but we want to get it into the group. So you should be seeing that shortly. And then you're welcome to invite other people. So this is where you would do so. You can invite them if they're already on here, if they're on Facebook and you're friends with them, you can do it that way. You can also just put in um, an email address and that will send an invite directly to their, their email. So that's really it for the overview of the actual Pomona College Book Club page. One of the other things I wanted to highlight was notification preferences and profiles that I had mentioned earlier. So you'll go up to this little icon here. It looks like a person reading a book. And when you go up here, you'll go to account settings. And in account settings, this is where you can choose to upload a photo, you can change your profile. One of the things I've seen quite a few um, alums and parents doing is adding their graduation year to the end of their last name, or in um, for parents, you know, putting the P2015 um, to identify them as a parent. So that's something that by no means is required, but is kind of nice for those of you that have added it. It's really great to see, you know, what class year you're from, um, as well as adding that to when you're, you're posting uh, in discussion threads. Uh, you're always welcome to do that. There's other settings that you can go through here that you can, you know, see who wants to view your profile or who you want to allow to view your profile. Um, setting up emails and how often you want to receive those. Under this email feature, way down at the bottom, there is the group email preferences. And this is where I said you can go back and update your, your notification preferences. So if you find that the digest is too often, then you can um, go ahead and do notify only or none. Uh, I would highly encourage to keep it on digest and maybe just change how often you receive them, if you want them daily or you want them weekly. I currently have mine set up for daily and although I don't get a daily digest every day, if there is discussion or somebody posting, then I will receive a digest. If the group is quiet for that day, I don't receive them. So currently that is perfect for me, um, but many of you might just want to do it weekly and going into you know your weekend and seeing what's going on and how you can tune in. 
So other than that, that's pretty much it for us. I appreciate all of your time and your participation in this. This is something that we're very excited to have uh, be a part of our alumni learning and career programs. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to either post them to the group or you're welcome to email alumni at pomona.edu. And that email address comes to the Seaver House and can be disseminated out from there, mattering on what the question is, who the best person to answer it is. So Sage Hunts, I look forward to seeing you interact and participate in the book club. We're always open to recommendations or updates and notification on maybe a new book that you potentially could have authored or somebody else you may know. So we always like to hear what what sage hens are out there doing so please feel free to get in contact and again just really appreciate your participation